you feel we're an, uh, you were a pawn in what was called the hostage diplomacy that the Turkish government held you as a part of an effort to exchange you for another prisoner here in the United States? Well, I think the reason they first uh, arrested us was to, they were going to deport us, but what they really were wanting to do was intimidate uh, other missionaries and have them self-deport and also intimidate local Turkish believers, Turkish Christians. The message was, if we can do this to an American, we can do this to anybody. Uh, so persecution was a reason that they, uh, and intimidation was the reason that, that they arrested me. Uh, I was used as a pawn in a sense, but I've often thought of this as there are two stories here. There's the there's a human story that has all of the intrigue and uh, using me as a hostage, trying to gain concessions from the U.S., all of that kind of thing. And then there's the, the God story that is really the more fundamental story. It's not as, as clear or visible to people maybe, but it's the real story behind the human story. And there I think God was using my uh, imprisonment for a number of purposes. One of them was to raise up this unprecedented prayer movement focused on one person that would just pour prayer into Turkey and I became a magnet for that. So yeah, I, I was a pawn in some ways, but but I think uh, we could say that God is the grandmaster chess player.